Welcome to Oligopolis. We know that oligopolies are a few firms in the market. So when you have a few firms, usually less than 10, that would be an example of an oligopoly. Uh, we use the cell phone uh, service providers like MTN, Cell C as an example, uh, but also banks. Well, that's another good example of oligopoly firms. They're usually less than 10 firms in the market. So because there's a few firms in the market, these firms, they tend to collude. Collusion is when these firms, they get together to decide what the price should be. Right? So explicit collusion is illegal. So by law, these firms cannot get together to decide price. So uh, explicit collusion is when they do it openly. Uh, they don't hide it. So that's illegal. So implicit collusion now is when they do it discreetly. So for example, the oligopoly firms will assign a price leader. So whatever the price leader does, the other firms will also follow. So this is an example of implicit collusion. Uh, colluding, but not in an illegal way. So for example, let's say Vodacom. If Vodacom was the price leader, uh, in the cell phone service providing business, whatever Vodacom does, if Vodacom increases the price, then the uh, MTN, cell C, telecom will also follow. So the, that, that's implicit collusion. Okay, we can use the king to demand curve to explain uh, the oligopoly market structure. All right, the king demand curve uh, we can see that the graph is elastic at first and after the kink it becomes inelastic. Elastic means when price changes the demand will change a lot. It will stretch like an elastic. Inelastic means when price changes the demand will change a little. All right and we can see it there. Uh, this region is elastic and the difference in the quantity demanded changes from 2 to 6, but in the elastic region, we can see the change is only from 6 to 7. Okay, so the demand curve also shows us why it is unwise for any firm to change the price. So all oligopoly firms should operate at this equilibrium position at point A, when the price is 5 rent uh, for the quantity of 6 million. All right, so the income... We can work it out. The income at the equilibrium point, point A, is going to be the quantity, which is 6, 6 million, times by the price, which is 5 rents. And of course, 6 times 5 is 30 mil. So let's say, for example, then one firm decides they're going to increase the price so that they can make more money. So if they increase the price, let's say from five rents to six rents, now they're going to be at point B. Let's see how much income they will make at point B. At point B, the quantity is two million multiplied by the price of six rents. So they will make way less. They will, uh, two times six is 12 million. So they will only make 12 million, which is way less than the 30 million at equilibrium position. What would happen then if another firm decides to lower their price in order to attract more customers? So they lower their price from 5 rents to 4 rents. All right, so what will they will now be at point C because uh, 4 rents is at point C. And let's look at the income then at point C. So the quantity at point C is 7, 7 million. And the price, of course, is 4 rents. And 7 times 4 is 28 million. So even if they reduce the price, they will end up making less uh, than they would have if they just stuck to the equilibrium position. So this proves that it doesn't make sense for oligopoly firms to compete using price. So they cannot compete on price because they will end up hurting themselves. So oligopoly firms use non-price strategies. There are three non-price strategies. 
since they cannot compete on price they have to compete in other ways so they compete using advertising to say we are better in this way so you should use our product or they use product differentiation remember the products in an oligopoly firms are homogenous they're the same uh, mtn offers you airtime just as well as vodacom and Celsius, but they differentiate this pro uh, these products so maybe mtn offers airtime for 10 rents but vodacom offers 10 uh, 12 rents airtime and so forth so they differentiate their products in order to attract customers they may also offer loyalty rewards so rewards given to loyal customers like loyalty points you can see there in the advertisement mtn offers loyalty points so these are the three non-price strategies that are used by early couples to compete advertising product differentiation loyalty rewards thank you great tops